What about you? Why do you do what you do, Trina? Because I want to capture memories that might otherwise be forgotten or, you know, we, we don't know what tomorrow holds. And if we wait thinking, well, we'll capture these memories some other day, they might not be there anymore. Mm. So she does this because we don't know what the future holds. And why? You know what the future holds? So what? So it's important so to capture these memories yeah. while we have them. Right? To capture these memories while they're here now. I do this because we never know what the future holds. And I don't want anyone to lose these memories. And also as a remembrance of what we have. Just like, you know, doing wet, shooting weddings. You know, sometimes in marriages, you're going to have difficult times. But no. when you look really? back on these photos, it rem reminds you of that love and passion you had when it was at its height. Good. But do you see at the beginning this very simple concept of you never know what the future holds. And I don't want anybody to forget the great memories they've had or whatever it was that she wants to say. I don't want you to lose any of your magical moments. See, there's a connection you can make there. Now, of course, how you say it makes a big difference. You say, well, you never know what the future holds, so you should probably capture memories. Not going to make a connection. Now, I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but we got to get her loosened up a little bit, right? <laughs> we got to get her sharing, share with them in a meaningful way, tell them as if, you want to get all of them up out of their seats because you're expressing how much you care about this. Tell them. Can I tell through a quick story? I just, no. Okay. <laughs> well, see, I don't know how to explain it without saying the meaning that it's had on me. I know. I'm just giving you a constraint here. I'm making it difficult on purpose. Okay. Um, just what we were talking about. So what do you want me to do again? I want you to get them up out of their seat because they feel so excited when they hear you say... Simply this, you never know what the future holds, and I don't want you to lose one moment of your life. Just say that. That's not, I'm not saying that's the thing that is your why you do a statement, but just say it to get them connected, get them out, like an acting exercise. Okay, but first of all, I'm just a terrible actor. But You're a brilliant actor. <laughs> your husband told me. Come on, get them up, get them up out of their seats. You don't know what tomorrow. I'm just no Go good for at this. it. Yes, you are. <laughs> you don't know what tomorrow holds, and you want to be able to capture these memories while you still have these. You don't want to lose these moments. Good. Let's do it again. Say it again. Again, same way. Okay. But now get them up. Make them rise. You want to capture these moments while you still have them. You want to capture these memories that you might otherwise forget. That's better, right? Now, come one more. Come on, stand. Get out of your chair. Get down on the ground with me. Come here. Come on, down on the ground. See, it's hard enough getting in the come chair. Come on, get down on the ground. Now, beg them. Ask them. Tell them. This is your pleading for your life here. Okay. That's how important this is. You want to be able to capture these moments, these memories, while you still have them. And you say this. You never know what the future holds. You never know what the future holds. Now, we're not turning into an actor or something, but we want, we want you to express what you actually feel and, and share it with them, no fear, no reservation. Because if they don't see that deep passion in you, they're not going to make the connection to you to choose you. Okay, so how do you get that when you're a more reserved person? Like, I feel this so strongly, but I'm not that good at conveying that. You're much better right now. Okay. Yeah, you are. You, you, you think you're a reserved person, and you may be a reserved person, but can you share your deep emotions with the people that you're close with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we have to allow ourselves to be fully self-expressed and share these deep emotions with people that we don't know. That's the challenge. But that's one of the things that you may need to overcome. One of the things that you may need to work on to allow yourself to open your heart because the work you do is very emotional for the people that are buying it, and even for you. And they need to get in there. You need to let them in. If you won't let them in, why would they choose you? So you've got to let them in. 
practice. Okay. Okay? Cool? Uh -huh. All right. Did you ever think you were going to come to this workshop and get down on your knees and beg <laughs> the audience? I, I was scared to be here just in case the camera might point at me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can we give her a round of applause for doing that?